to another episode of Love Reno. I am Dave. And I'm Connie, and here we are at Chickadee Ridge, a beautiful day, enjoying all the things we love about Reno, which includes Lake Tahoe. And we're waiting for birds. If you're wondering why we're holding seeds, the chickadees come around here right now. This is in our backyard. One of the many reasons, that, pick, 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 pick. <laughs> one of the many reasons we love Reno. But we're gonna do their standard segments. We have foodie philosophy. We got uh, uh, local artists that we're gonna feature. We've also got our movers and shakers segment. We're gonna head out on the streets and see what people have to say about what they love most about Reno. And of course, we're also gonna take you inside so you can check out, what are we checking out? You took my two. Drinks with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Drinks with friends. Obviously, we've already had a couple of pops too. Welcome to another fine episode of Love Reno. Reno. Certainly a unique movers and shakers. We're here at base camp at Whitney Peak Hotel, downtown Reno by the Arch. This is Brian Sweeney. He is base camp manager at the world's tallest climbing wall. Base camp manager, right? Yeah, base camp manager. My official title is chief knowledgearian of vertical empowerment. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we have vertically empowered that. our associate producer back here. This is Sierra, and uh, she's going to start going up the wall. Do you have any tips for people that are just starting out and coming up here to climb this yeah, wall? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, just giving yourself the opportunity to try it and having faith in your ability and stepping out of your comfort zone is a big one. Uh, secondarily, yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little scared. Secondarily, uh, it's a common misconception that you need upper body strength to be a good climber, but really, you can only do so many pull-ups, but your legs carry you all day long. I, I heard sure. you giving instructions to Sierra, and you said it's almost like climbing a ladder. Precisely, yeah. You don't do pull-ups up a ladder, right? You step up, then move your hands. That's just a leverage up. thing, physics, right? Yeah, and your legs are just way stronger than your arms. All right, so how tall is this? It's the world's tallest, right? Yeah, we currently have the Guinness Book World Record for the world's tallest artificial climbing wall, and it's 164 feet. And you've been all the way to the top? Oh, yeah. You're Part nuts. Job. You nuts. have been climbing since 1998, yep. and what is unique about climbing a wall in a downtown area? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, most times you go climbing, you're going to some dusty warehouse and you're going to go try to go climb something, whereas visually and the proximity next to the arch is just astounding, right? Yeah, it is absolutely. so cool. Beautiful. We have a lot of people who've never climbed in their lives and just stop in their tracks and come up and ask us about it. And usually it turns into a discussion of, hey, where do you live? Let's find a climbing gym near you. So we have an awesome opportunity to expose new climbers to the sport. Well, we're excited about this because Brian, uh, I don't know if uh, Dave here told you, but he just loves heights. He can't <laughs> wait to get to the top and you're actually gonna <laughs> help us out. We're gonna get up here and we're gonna climb this wall. So stick around for that. It's coming up. Look at my fancy harness. <laughs> At the bottom of this very tall wall, it's a life or death situation. Brian, keep me safe. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, climbing is inherently dangerous, but we have all these elements that'll help reduce the risk and have fun. All right, so uh, give us a little tip. We're gonna try to go up this wall right now. You mentioned earlier the ladder technique. So how do we get started? So essentially what you wanna do is set your hands up and then stand and then reset your feet and then move your hands and then stand up again, okay. just like you would on a ladder. Okay. And oh. if you feel yourself getting stuck, look down and more likely than not, you'll be able to move your feet up. Okay, perfect. All right. Have fun. All right, Thanks. here we go. Lagging behind, baby. Why don't you look down, scaredy cat? Nah. I'm alive. And that wasn't so bad, really. Woo! I feel super safe. That's with awesome. <laughs> hey, get that out. That was so much fun. <laughs> I loved it. That's so cool. That is really cool. Pretty awesome, and it's a super unique setting. You know, you're never rock climbing over a street, so let alone next to the arch. The Reno Arch, which is blue for our wolf pack, right downtown. We love Reno. Brian, do you love Reno? Let Reno know. 
Definitely love Reno. Born and raised and still here. <laughs> Keep rock climbing. Come to the world's tallest rock climbing base camp right here, downtown Reno. You're going to love it. And look for Brian Sweeney. What a nice guy. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you, Appreciate Brian. It. Brian. Woo! Yeah, baby, we did it. Hi, I'm Tom Dolan. I was given a second chance in life when I received a lung transplant. I've been embracing life ever since, but there are more than 600 Nevadans that are still waiting on the transplant list. So today, I'm asking you to register as an organ donor. It's a small act to give people on the waiting list hope for tomorrow. Please register now. There's no reason to wait. Visit DonorNetworkWest.org. There are those days that have no regard for the calendar. They are the finest days. Tuesdays, Fridays, any days made memorable by people who rise above the crowd, go far and wide, and who take you to where never is heard a discouraging word. They craft some of the West's finest whiskeys and recall the Valley's most colorful spirits. But mostly, they make your days nothing short of legendary. Enjoy an elegant lunch, dinner, wine, and craft cocktails at the Wild River Grill. Located in the historic Riverside Hotel in downtown Reno on the Truckee River's scenic Riverwalk. Exuding nostalgic charm from the Roaring Twenties, the Wild River Grill welcomes guests from around the world, delighting patrons of the arts as the Pioneer Center beckons from just across the street. Treat yourself and those you love to Reno's finest. It's the Wild River Grill. Reservations at wildrivergrill.com. He is a Reno foodie legend. We're here with a Chef Chapin. Jonathan Chapin is with Reno Recipes. We are so thrilled to be with you today. You have really transformed this community through your food. Not only is the food delicious that you're preparing, but this is really an opportunity for you to connect with the community. Right, and it started out really with just helping families that were in need during the pandemic, and from there... There were a lot of those. Yeah, and there was a lot of that, and then from there I went to nonprofits, and then it, it just kind of escalated, and as the story went from local to national, it ended up on the front page of the Washington Post, and now it's just an every week kind of thing we just give back, and that's just kind of what our mission statement is. And your personal story, you, you saved yourself in the kitchen with the knife and with the food, right? Yeah, yeah. I had I had long-term sobriety, then I relapsed, and then um, it was a suicide attempt, and then I I came back, and now I use that story uh, to give hope to others instead of letting it bring me down. So. While feeding them. So yeah, yeah, you're absolutely. a saint. Yeah. He's food. a saint in the kitchen. The, ah! the food is really what it is, right? Food is community. Food is connection, right. and that's what you're really all about. My question for you, though, is this. Do you truly believe that anyone can come in the kitchen and cook? I, Even know, Dave, have you seen his finger? Uh, Dave is. Do you in, think he can actually? She had cook? to bring it up. I mean, come on. I mean, there's, a, there's <laughs> one shot. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. We'll All see. right. So today we're actually going to sit here. We're going to make a stuffed avocado. This is one yep. of your favorite kind of new, easy, healthy, yep. easy recipes that easy, you say healthy, fun. anyone can do. Yeah. But we're going to start off uh, with some onion chopping is what we're going to do. Right. And then tell us how this is all going to be made. What are you going to put inside this? Okay, so I'm going to put, um, I've got this ready to go over here. I'm going to grab some, this meat that's right here. And this is a sausage and chicken mix. Mm. And I've got Mama Ray's rub. I've got all the local uh, marinades in here. We're going to cook that down. And then in this other pan, we've got caramelized onion. We've got oops, caramelized onion. We've got roasted red pepper. And uh, some of those garlic cloves, Ooh, if you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to try it, oh my we, I, God. caramelized so caramelized garlic. Caramelized garlic. It's so delicious. Hey, while you're doing that, did you ever see ratatouille? Yeah. He said, remember, anyone can cook. Yeah, even well. a rat. Even a rat. <laughs> even a rat. Now, Jonathan, the thing mm. that really makes your food so special, too, is that you're using local resources, right? Yeah. Everything that we're eating here today is yeah. all local. All local uh, shops, all local marinades, all local seasoning, all local oils, all local wines. Even the cutting boards and the knives. Yeah. And these, these are, are incredible. Incredible these knives. are made here, shipped internationally. 
Uh, this is a local guy. If you see that Nevada board, it's absolutely You know what fantastic. we're going to do? We're going to put those uh, makers on screen for you, too, with the website so you can find them. Yep, and that's what we do. We support local. We're all about Reno. We're all about Nevada made, and we're all about... Uh, pushing small businesses to the next level. And you're all about making sure everyone eats delicious food. So yeah. now that you get the meat cooked up, right? Right. Oh, that looks so good. That gets going. You know, I'm seeing a pattern here. You you cook for people during times of need. You shop locally. You're a community guy. Yeah, and that's the way I, you know, if you get a shot, you don't want to blow it, you know. Uh, second chances are crime to waste, and so sure. what I want, what I want to do, and my way to bounce back was to bring people together uh, and to shine and be a part of something. Because when you got community, man, I, there's, I can't always do it by myself. I want people to have my back, but I want to show that I got their back by by paying it forward as well. Well, the show is Love Reno, so I can't see a better match. Yeah, right? Absolutely. And of course, Reno Recipes, you can find them online, renorecipes.com. You can check out the show. You do a Facebook Live a show Facebook every Live week. every Sunday, and it's right here in Sierra Food Market, a locally owned store, and uh, it's seating for 100. And we do everything from drag queens to local chefs to nonprofits and everything. Wait, wait, drag queens? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah that, we're gonna be back for the drag queen show this weekend. We can't wait. Awesome. And uh, every four weeks, we do another uh, different local nonprofit. All right. If you had to pick one thing that you love most about Reno, Jonathan, what would that be? Tell the them. People. The people. The people of Reno and Tahoe and Carson. Well, speaking for Reno, Tahoe, Carson, and the whole region, we love you, too. This yes. is Love Reno. Reno loves you. That's Chef right. Chapin. Thank you. Chef Chapin, check him out, renorecipes.com, or stop by Sierra Foods and experience him every Sunday. Thanks Let's, for coming to my kitchen. Let's eat. So what are we uh, biting into? Mm. Uh, a stuffed avocado with chicken, pork, caramelized onion, roasted pepper, roasted garlic, and all kinds of other goodness. And love. This is so you. And it's I all about my love. Like love. I know you at home want to know how to make this, so how can they learn? You can get the uh, complete recipe at renorecipes.com. Mm. Cheers. We're going to keep eating. We love you. Trust cheers. Avocado cheer. You're going to love this. Mm. <laughs> cheers. Reno Thank you. Him. Thanks, Chef. Chef, Chapin, you're the best. They are the legends you never heard of. People who know the little things that loom large in life. Like where the wild horses will be tomorrow. The chair Johnny Cash preferred. The trails to take. The views to behold. And the long-held knowledge that bread, beans, garlic, and wine are a surefire recipe for making friends out of strangers. When you're ready to travel, upgrade your status to legendary in Carson Valley. Safe travels. Visit CarsonValley.org. Hi, I'm Tom Dolan. I was given a second chance in life when I received a lung transplant. I've been embracing life ever since, but there are more than 600 Nevadans that are still waiting on the transplant list. So today, I'm asking you to register as an organ donor. It's a small act to give people on the waiting list hope for tomorrow. Please register now. There's no reason to wait. Visit DonorNetworkWest.org. I'm Henry Sotelo. I came to Reno to attend UNR and fell in love with Northern Nevada. I practiced criminal law for over 25 years as a prosecutor and now as a specialty court attorney. Reno Municipal Court has embraced the therapeutic court model in order to address criminal behavior linked to substance abuse. These specialty courts save money, rehabilitate offenders, and reduce criminal behavior. No one in Reno Municipal Court has more experience in specialty court representation than I do. If you find yourself in trouble with the court, I can help. artist is Josie Rock and if you have ever driven through Midtown up near the University or downtown Reno and your eyes have been transfixed on a mural most likely that mural was drawn by this man right here Josie Rock and we're here in Midtown we're located right behind Junkie Clothing Exchange this is one of the larger murals that Joe has done and it's absolutely one of my favorites Joe thank you so much for being with us thank you for having me I love this because you love Reno you love Nevada we see that in a lot of your work, but you're also someone that dives into social issues, social justice, you deal with pop culture, and here as we stand in front of one of your larger murals in Midtown, how did this all begin? When did you start 
painting or doing art? Uh, I've been doing art my entire life, pretty much. I mean, I've been drawing since little, I had a show at Sierra Arts Gallery and my mom uh, brought that up. That was a few years ago and she's like, oh, I remember you, we had to line the walls with butcher paper and you, cause you were just coloring on everything. So I guess that was the first mural I ever did. Um, but I really started this in like 2009, 2010. That's when I started painting murals. Before that I did a lot of art shows and stuff like that. I think it's awesome too that we call it a mural. Like back in the day when I was growing up, this was graffiti, right? If you were to paint on a wall, it had a negative connotation, but I look at what you have done now, especially in the Midtown District, you've really revitalized this community through art. Thank you, yeah, I mean, graffiti definitely has a big part in my life. I mean, that's how I started painting, but uh, you know, graffiti is illegal, murals are not. Um, you know, most of my work is all commissioned, and that's where it changes the line, you know, crosses the line and becomes art instead of graffiti. So when you look at this particular mural, to me it looks so massive. What is the process for you in the beginning? How do you decide, okay, I'm gonna paint Lincoln, this is what I wanna do. How does that process begin? Um, it really depends on the wall, the person who's commissioned me, um, a lot of things, you know, where the mural's at, who's gonna be seeing it. Um, so this one was really a collaboration between Eric Burke and myself. Um, and this was for Art Town 2015, 2014, somewhere around there. Can't remember now, it's so long <laughs> You've ago. You've done so many. Um, but yeah, this was one we decided we definitely wanted to um, highlight like the um, underdogs in Nevada history yeah. and people who had a significant influence in Nevada. Um, so we just went one by one. So this was a month long process and every week we were here painting before they did like a one of the concerts, the Midtown concert yeah. series. So we were out here every week and every week we would just kind of talk to each other and vibe and decide who we'd want to talk to. Oh, let's paint Lincoln for this reason. Oh, let's paint uh, Jack Johnson for this reason. Let's paint this person for that reason. So it was kind of natural flow that happened with it and it was kind of great. It was a good way to go about it. Do you feel like you've also introduced the idea to people that you can take a, a dilapidated building and make it a piece of art? Yeah, I, I mean, that's been a big part of this midtown transition and change. Um, that's how it started. When me and Eric were painting 15 plus years ago, all these buildings were like run down. This was a really run down area of the community. And you know, we would just go into businesses and be like, hey, do you want uh, your dilapidated wall painted <laughs> over really here? Awesome. Like it'll look cool. And you know, that really just changed the vibe of the area. It really did. And you're seeing more and more businesses that are saying, hey, we want this on our wall. You've expanded, not just here in Nevada. I mean, you yeah. can check out your art across the country now. Yeah. yeah Where definitely. are some of the places we can go and visit? I mean, I have murals in LA, in New Orleans, in Miami, in Texas, like, those are some places I go to constantly. Like those are little hubs that I like going to. Like a home away um, from home. Denver, yes. Yeah. So, but I mean, anywhere I get to travel to, I try to paint. So. Well, I, I want people and encourage people to support local artists in our community. You not only do murals, you have other art pieces in different galleries. How can people find you? How can they purchase art from you? Yeah, Instagram's probably the best way to find me. My handle is joecrock13. That's the easiest place. I have a little uh, highlight in there that has for sale stuff. And then also I work at Lasting Dose Tattoo and Art Gallery. So I'm there all the time. I have a little spot with uh, paintings for sale there all the time. I'm gonna have a collaborative show there in the month of January. And then um, I'm doing a little pop-up at Black Rabbit Mead on the 22nd, um, so just Look around, you'll find me. Follow Josie Rock. The art is incredible. Thank you so much for Thank loving you. on Reno the way yeah. we do. You're just an absolute part of our community. Thank you. I think that it's gorgeous that we have this art every day. We have something to kind of have a touchstone for, and you've given that to us. So thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Tom Dolan. I was given a second chance in life when I received a lung transplant. I've been embracing life ever since but there are more than 600 Nevadans that are still waiting on a transplant list. So today, I'm asking you to register as an organ donor. It's a small act to give people on the waiting list hope for tomorrow. Please register now. There's no reason to wait. Visit DonorNetworkWest.org. They are the legends you never heard of. People who know the little things that loom large in life like where the wild horses will be tomorrow. 
the chair Johnny Cash preferred, the trails to take, the views to behold, and the long-held knowledge that bread, beans, garlic, and wine are a surefire recipe for making friends out of strangers. When you're ready to travel, upgrade your status to legendary in Carson Valley. Safe travels. Visit CarsonValley.org. The Reno Brew Bike, it's a 15-passenger paddle trolley. Bar crawls and brewery tours are what we do. We think the biggest little city is a lot of fun. We want to bring you a truly memorable Reno experience. It's a pedal trolley reservation, so please expect to pedal. Your reservation gets you use of the pedal trolley and a sober driver tour guide who will get you to the next great spot. Reno has a lot of fun to offer. Come enjoy it from a brew bike seat. Ridge enjoying the outdoors of Lake Tahoe and we've met Matt and Sabrina. Matt is actually from Mississippi, moved out here to Reno. What do you love most about living in Reno? I absolutely love being this close to the lake. It's a beautiful lake. I love the people. It's right there. Yeah, Isn't that gorgeous? We yeah, can touch it. Right. Yeah, we're going to spit at it. No, no, go ahead. Spit go at ahead. it. We'll let it, let it happen. I, I won't do that right now. <laughs> yes. I want to hear Connie spell Mississippi. Am I? Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Humpback, humpback, I. What do you think about people spelling Mississippi no, like that? I want to see you spell it backwards that No, way. I can't do it. I'm not going to. I just I had, some, I had some wine. I'm sorry. I can't do it. But yeah, I just enjoy being out here in nature, enjoying what the good Lord gave us. Yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, it's well, one of the prettiest places in the country. In the world. In, in the, world. the world. Amen. Next, <laughs> next, next and it's not weeks. Biloxi, it's Biloxi, damn it. Oh, <laughs> in I, Nevada. I use, in I Nevada, that? not Nevada. <laughs> yes, thank, thank you. you. Yes. Y'all are welcome. He said it we right. love Reno and we love Reno, Nevada. We love Reno. Reno, 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 Reno. Yay! <laughs> A family that sleds together stays Oh, together. that's awesome. Look at her, she's all later. I've been friends with her for a very long time. She's incredibly talented. <laughs> LaRonda Etheridge, and she runs the Reno Little Theater, the kids programs. The kids My daughter has been active with Reno Little Theater. She was about five years I old. I think so. And I think I, I would like to say thank you <laughs> for everything that you've done for these incredible kids. Aww, I know during the you. pandemic, you really had to make some big shifts and big changes. Yes, you kept those did. kids mm -hmm. so engaged. But you're a staple in this community, LaRonda. Uh, well, you truly you. are just a part <laughs> of the theater community. This is all about loving Reno. Mm -hmm. As an artist, what do you love most about Reno? Um, well, I moved here about the same time that you did. And That's over, over 20 years. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. And um, I've been part of the uh, theater community the whole time, working at different theaters uh, throughout the community. And that is my passion and just seeing how the arts and especially theater arts has grown in this, this community. I got a question for you because okay. mm -hmm. I know that you're an actress also, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of what you're doing now is helping shape the lives of kids that are doing it and directing. And I hope so. Talk about, Hi. <laughs> I'd like to hear that uh, the magic that happens when you see something happen, when kids are following the direction and following a script and a story and when that magic occurs on the stage. It really is like the collaboration because kids learn so much through just the process, not necessarily the end product, which is fantastic, but right. it's that process of getting there. Rehearsing, kids, learning, learning the coming lines, together. Right, coming together and figuring things out as a group and realizing that they are a vital part of the whole thing and um That's so, so cool. yeah i've also liked watching that my daughter is a, as a young up-and-coming actress working in with reno little theater there's a sense of these kids take each other under their wings yes they do i really noticed that you know story starting at five and now she's 11. Mm -hmm. she's kind of learned to take the younger ones under her wings the older teens have embraced story. yes mm -hmm. so you're also fostering great relationships amongst kids and encouraging them to push forward in their love of the arts i i hope so because i don't think there's any other 
thing for kids that brings them together as much as theater arts does and, and working together. I love that too. And I imagine that you get to witness the beauty of lives changing where kids emerge from their shell. Uh huh. Well, that's with like story being a prime example of being this little, you know, tiny little thing that she's so cute here. and now no there's no stop now she's now. just like that <laughs> she's, she's exactly. a little mini me exactly but you've also had an opportunity to witness and i have too being at these shows these kids are then becoming young adults yes. and continuing on mm -hmm. and they're becoming wonderful actors and actresses yes and we've talked a lot about this we want to keep incredible talent here locally mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. want to foster talent to stay here and understand mm -hmm. that there is an ability to do what you love right. where you love to mm -hmm. live what would be the one piece of advice that you would give to these people that are thinking, well, should I leave Reno? Should I give Reno a chance? What would you say? I think you need to stick with it. I mean, just in these past 20 years of seeing how much theater has grown in this, and if we can keep the uh, teenagers and the young adults here, look at, I mean, there's so many more community theaters than there was just a few years ago. There right. is opportunity. Which is so great yeah. for the community. Mm -hmm. Now, I just got squeezed on the leg. That's the signal. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> How can people That's find, how many people come see shows? They want to come see the shows? <laughs> <laughs> we can't drink. <laughs> All right, let them know. How can people find, come to the theater and the season? Uh, Renalittletheater.org is um, the best place to go to see if any upcoming. We have main stage shows. We have children's shows. We have children's classes. We have other education classes happening all the time. So renalittletheater.org is the place to go. Reno loves you. Uh, yes, we thank love you. you. I love you, Reno. Thanks, Thanks for watching another episode of Love Reno. That's Wilson the Wonder Dog up here in the mountains overlooking Lake Tahoe at Chickadee Ridge. We thank you so much for watching Love Reno. You can follow us on social media. Check out the episodes on YouTube. Find us on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, this show is about you. So if there are people, places, and things you would like to see featured, we want to hear from you. Let us know because we all... Love, Love Reno. Reno. And we're still waiting for a chickadee. Come on, chickadee. Where Let's go. Birds? It's either that or Dave. Come on. Come on, Dave. Oh, it's so yummy. We not only love Reno, we love our sponsors. Thank you to Edon, Aspen Leaf Interiors, Donor Network West, Henry Satello Law, The Wild River Grill, Dolce Vita Wellness Spa, and Visit Carson Valley. 